Hi everyone, this is ECU Boot and today we're going to show you a hidden features called Collision Prevention Assist on our Mercedes E200 W212 as well as a uh, coding procedure to make these features more uh, sufficient. So Mercedes-Benz has long believed that the uh, best way to survive an accident is to avoid one. Rear-end collisions are one of the more common types of accidents and the one that might be avoided. With the help of an advanced system called Collision Prevention Assist Plus, as you drive, the Collision Prevention Assist is comparing your speed to vehicles or objects ahead using radar and it can sense when a possible collision is likely and alert the driver to brake. The plus in the systems is its ability to apply the brake autonomously in the event that the driver does not respond to the alert. The radar sensor can detect moving objects in your path when you're traveling above 5 miles per hour. The radar sensor also detects stationary objects when you're traveling up to 45 miles per hour. As soon as the system detects an insufficient safety buffer, a visual warning illuminates. This helps notify you to increase your following distance. If the distance is decreasing rapidly enough to indicate the danger of a collision, a warning tone also sounds. This alerts you to respond by tracking or by taking possible evasive actions as soon as you step on the brake pedal. The adaptive brake assist features precisely applies the optimum braking force automatically even if you brake too lightly. Uh, should the systems detect that you have not reacted to the warning, it can apply the brakes automatically from speed up to 65 miles per hour. Now on models with Distronic plus Adaptive Cruise Control, its uh, pre-safe brake features replace collision prevention assist and offers automatically automatic braking from up to 125 miles per hour. Both systems can also respond to stationary objects when you're driving up to 31 miles per hour. The autonomous braking may be able to prevent or at least reduce the severity of a collision. By applying the brake precisely and activating the brake lamps, drivers behind you also have more time to react and if braking forces are high enough, it can also activate the features or of pre-safe to help prepare the occupant in vehicle so equipped. So uh, before coding the features, I'm going to show you how it should work. Okay, so as you can see, it's only warning us when uh, a collision is likely to happen. So that is one of the default features on this vehicle and now I'm going to code it by using Sentry. So the first one is the volume of front parking system warning tone. Uh, we can set it higher or lower depending on our personal preference. And the second thing is the frequency of front parking system warning tone. We can set it either faster or slower. Another thing that I want to mention is the continual front acoustic warning when parking. If we set it into yes, the collision prevention and assist is going to warn us earlier from the default systems. So by using sentries, I've already showed you how to code the hidden features on this Mercedes E200 W212. Um, I hope you find this video is helpful and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you for the next one.